My name is Ebenezer Middlesdorf, and I am a certified cheese on a bona fide bun, and you can't eat that. And this right here is Big Seamus, and his skin tone looks like mayo, and you can't eat that. Bada boom, real food in the room. How you doing? What's good, Internet? My name is Attacks Like, and welcome back to my 2K16 My Career Let's Play Ebenezer's Revenge here on the PS4 and a fine Wednesday afternoon as I record this. And yes, I had to go into the non-career mode to give you a little bit of what the entrance would be if they would allow me to use a tag team entrance here in my career, which they do not. But I had to do it for you guys at least once. Anyway... We're fighting Pentagon Jr. again, <clears throat> on SmackDown again, <clears throat> for no reason, again, in a singles match, again. Uh, but I was told I should totally go attack Victor, uh, and that would get me into a tag team feud with Ascension. So uh, we're definitely going to run in on Victor on the stage top. That'll be fun. So first of all, how in the hell did Victor get a singles match with Sting? That's a whole different discussion. Uh, but yes, it is Wednesday here, and man, I'm kind of glad I waited a little bit. I had to obviously record my Raw reactions first and foremost on Wednesday, you know, in the morning. But I'm kind of glad, because uh, things happened between, you know, me, me recording that and, and wrestling news uh, coming out. And obviously, the biggest news right now is that Adam Rose got arrested in Florida. Like, holy shit. And not, not just a simple, oh, well, he was, you know... Doing something that he, that he, that he, you know, was, you know, kind of, you know, uh, one of those basic, oh, well, it was a DUI or it was, you know, shop, shoplifting like Emma or, you know, something like that. No, it was domestic violence and witness tampering, which, if convicted, could be like a five-year jail time deal. So that dude is, like, fallen apart. Like, holy shit. He's currently on his uh, suspension, right? And, and this does not help. Does not help. Hitting square, hitting square, waiting on him, waiting on him, woo! Nice. That was, that was a good, and here comes the ref. What are you gonna do, ref? Is in a match? What? Victor's fighting back. Since when does Victor fight back to Ebenezer? And I was hitting, oh, I, I guess, I guess I, I lost the damn finisher. I lost the damn finisher. What in the hell? Nope, too fast. Why is it too fast today? Why is everything too fast? There we go. Boom. Big old bulldog. Let us hit him with the gefilte flip. And uh, perhaps that will... Nope, didn't even get that. Wouldn't even give me the luxury of the gefilte flip, Victor. That's okay, I can F5 your ass. Boom. That's what you get. Oh, he's not done yet? He's not done yet? I guess he needs a little bit of the Ebenezer. And then, uh, move on to our match. Boom. That should do it. There you go. There you go. He's all mad about it. Yeah. And theoretically, that will give us a Renee Young interview, which will confirm the feud with the Ascension. And hopefully that means more tag team matches and none of this single stuff. Because I want to be in the tag team division, cheese and mayo. Um, so, there you go, Renee Young. Like clockwork, Renee Young. What was the intention of you going I want a feud with the Ascension, apparently. I need to gain some ranks here in the tag division. I'll make an impact. I, did not get this far to wait on the side I mean, I've been champ three times, so, you know. Going to make an impact on the WWE. It starts no, no, no. Tag match, Ebenezer. Tag match. Whatever. Make it happen. You in the cap and make it happen. You two have been clashing I mean, we had that one match, and there was this. So, I guess it's a rivalry? I suppose. I will not lose. If you really look at it, this is a yes, the two brightest superstars, Victor of the Ascension. No offense, but no. Come on now. I don't care what happens tonight, next week, or at the pay-per-view. I'm coming out on top, 
and there is nothing he can do about it. So yeah, back to the Adam Rose thing, man. If looking at what they did to Emma for you know shoplifting an iPod case, Adam Rose is done. He's done. That dude is falling apart. Like holy shit, he is done. Um, maybe he'll end up in TNA. Maybe he'll end up in New Japan or Mexico or you know or or jail. He might just end up in jail for five years. So yeah, that's that's you, you hate to see that. You hate to see that because um, certainly I think he is talented and you know he did the best with what was given to him. Um, but man, that is just real rough. So yeah, um, certainly uh, for once I'm actually on top of news, even though this video won't air until 10 p.m. I'm still actually on top of you know actual breaking news and whatever else. In other news. Um, apparently Triple H will be, will, will be part-time wrestling for three more years because he signed a wrestler's contract. Obviously, you know, he's the C, the COO and whatever else, um, but he still has to sign a wrestling contract to, to, to actually work matches. So he re-upped his contract for three more years. Now, what I don't understand is that being the COO is like, is he signing his own contract from himself? Like, is that how that works? <laughs> I'm not really sure, like, that that seems weird, um, but, uh, yeah, so expect to see more matches between him and, I would imagine, Roman Reigns, and maybe another match with Lesnar, Cena, it, it, it could be anybody, um, but hey, if you want to have him put over more young talent, because that, that, at this stage of his career, he certainly should, um, I'd appreciate that, um, but, I would say for up-and-coming talent, as a bit of a segue here, for up-and-coming talent, you, you better hope, uh, much like guys like, uh, Enzo and Cass, that you are, that, that's fucking, his foot is up there, that you are getting yourself over, like, in short order, you are getting over with that crowd shortly, because guess what? TV time on Raw, looking at you, Apollo Crews, T TV time on Raw is about, about to get a lot more limited with the impending returns, according to uh, Vince on the financial call, the impending returns of John Cena, which, which we knew, on the 30th, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, and Bray Wyatt. And those four certainly uh, are going to de demand and command uh, significant amounts of TV time. So, if you're just happy to be on Raw, you might not be on Raw that much longer. You know, guess what? It's time for SmackDown, or Superstar, or Main Event, or may maybe even... Back to NXT, because, uh, you know, those four guys will take up, you know, at least a, se a segment apiece on Raw on any given Monday night. So, yeah, if, if, if you're part of the new era, get yourself over fast, because those guys are all coming back. So, I think Enzo and Cass are set, but guys like a Apollo Crews, maybe not as much. Uh, so, looking forward to see how that stuff gets handled. Go Phil Tuflip! To the outside. Oh my! Nobody gets up from an F5. Except for, you know, all the people who did <laughs> over the years. Boom. I want to say last time I fought Pentagon Jr., uh, there was a count-out thing going on. I didn't feel like fighting him. So, let's uh, continue on, hopefully, with our count-out. Nope, not going to happen. I, sh I should have gone for a second. Woo! Oh, I, yeah, started the count again. Started the count again. That's fine. We're going to keep on keeping on with the Gefilte flip. Look at my health. Look at his health. It has been pretty one-sided this match here. But the fact that he's still getting up is certainly a testament to his resiliency, etc., etc. Um, oh yeah, so there, there, there was one other um, news story before I... Wrap up. Get to the corner. Fucker. No, you're not getting your comeback move. Come on now. 
you're getting choke slammed. Uh, there was one more news story that I did want to discuss here very briefly. And that was the Brooklyn Brawler got released. Like, what? That dude's been there forever. He's like a agent now. He's obviously not doing, you know, matches anymore. But that, that was, you know, the jobber of jobbers was the Brooklyn Brawler. And he was just, you thought he was a lifer. Much like Howard Finkel, you thought he was a lifer. So to, to hear that he got released is shocking. Um, so I have to wonder, they're just continually trying to cut costs with all these recent releases and whatever else. But man, that's a bummer. I thought he'd be there forever. Anyway, let us try to wrap up this match here with Pentagon Jr., I want to end it with a gefilte flip, but it's not happening. He's preventing me from fucking getting shit done here, so... Really? You're gonna pin me? I've got so- look at how big those bars are. I got so much health, and now all you've done is made my meter nice and big. And, uh, increased. And therefore, your dumbass gets F5'd again. Until you fucking reverse it, God damn it! Alright, well now... We have, perhaps, a fight on our hands. As, uh... He wants to, certainly. Nope! Spared him! Nope, just spared him. Rope break! Oh, F off. Come on, pick him up. Well, or that. Or that. Whatever. Codebreaker. Uh, I want to do the whatchamacallit move. Well, not that one, obviously. Because that one's the... Fucking dropkick. Crap, he's charging it. He's charging it. Can I reverse it? Can it happen? Nope. Could not happen. I tried. I tried my hardest. I was focusing. And uh, that didn't really help, did it? The finisher. Well, that makes the bar a little smaller, but not small enough. Pentagon Jr. Not small enough. Now then. I didn't mean to cook. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Because that goes right into a pinfall. Squished him. Counter ref. That's it. There you go, we're done. And the cheese wins again. The cheese stands alone, as it were. And that wraps up our Wednesday episode for this week on the 2K16 My Career Let's Play. Hopefully on Raw, they'll give us a tag team match. Playa, holla holla. Oh, I'm locked in a thing with Victor. Oh boy, gonna fight the Ascension. And apparently I'm fighting Pentagon Jr. again. Like, what the fuck is this game thinking? It gets obsessed with fighting one guy or another, like, multiple times. I don't understand. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm a tax lug. As always, more videos every day, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.